everybody, it's Sports Time. I'm Ricardo Live. And tonight, this one goes out to Stephen Adley down there at Focal. I'll tell you why in just a minute. The 17th annual Tabernacle Falcons Thanksgiving Basketball Classic is underway at the Jack Haywood Gym. This morning was the opening ceremony at the school. The acting Prime Minister of the Bahamas among those in attendance, and so was our Italia Hall. The opening ceremony and cultural show for the annual Thanksgiving Basketball Classic began with a number of skits, songs and dances performed by students of Tabernacle Baptist Academy. Five basketball teams from the United States, one team from New Providence and six teams from Grand Bahama were in attendance along with principals, students and staff. The motto, promoting tourism through sports, the sports tourism manager Novalari Chaudasing stating that he is expecting a great competition. The acting Prime Minister and Minister of Works and Urban Development, the Honorable Philip Davis, was the guest speaker, noting that basketball has secured an educational future for many students. Basketball has served to develop values that help make our future adults better citizens because the game stimulates peaceful and respectful interaction among the people and countries. Minister Davis then giving a challenge to all players. Get used to accepting and carrying out your commitments to others. The commitment tells us that you are willing to sacrifice your personal wishes for the sake of your team. This helps you to think about others and not just about yourself. The tournament will be played at the Jack Haywood Gymnasium over three days. It's Halia Hall, ZNS Total Sports. Well, on quarter of the hour, folks, uh, you've got St. George's and St. Readers, and Sunland is going to take on Jefferson County, and that's followed by Oak Ridge and Tabernacle. Cherokee and C.I. Gibson will close out day one of play. Now, the 13th annual Junkanoo Jam NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament will start tomorrow at the St. George's Gym. The Lukaya Division, you'll have the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Baylor Bears taking center court at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Michigan State is also in that particular division. In the Reef Division, at 4.15 on court will be Utah Utes and Oklahoma Sooners. Boston College plays also in the Reef. And in the Freeport Division this year, it is the Louisiana Tech, the Texters, and the UCLA Bruins will be on court as so as the Denver Pioneers. It's going to run through Saturday. It's going to be an awful lot of fun. The Grandma Volleyball Association also on court at the YMCA Youth in Action, uh, defeating the TNC soccer team 25-23, 25-18, 25-16 in a ladies affair. The Nesbitt uh, Reynolds, they put away the Pleasant All-Stars 22-25, uh, 25-21, 25-17, and 25-12. In a men's affair, the police specials defeated the Young Gunners 25-21, 25-20, 20-25, and also 25-17. High school softball play for you in the Churchill Knowles Peter Turnquest League. Eight Marrock Junior Girls defeating BMES 8-7, Jack Haywood over Sunland 15-5, Sister Mary Patricia Russell over Tabernacle 21-3, Tabernacle Senior Girls stop St. George's 10-3, BMES bagged at Jack Haywood 9-2, and BMES Senior Boys over Tabernacle 2-1. I dedicated Sports Night to Stephen Adley and Ed Focal. That is because tomorrow the Dallas Cowboys will take on my Carolina Panthers at 4 in the afternoon. Because they won and they defeated the Miami Dead Dolphins on the weekend, Stephen has now said that he has become a Romosexual. Now, that's only because of uh, Tony Romo. But I can let him know he's going to be a Nomosexual when Carolina finish with them tomorrow. That's a look at Sports Tonight. <laughs>